Meanwhile, voting in the 2016 election gets underway in about 13 hours from right now in the form of the caucuses in yes. Iowa. Not only is it the start of the voting, it's also the start of Black History Month. Today is February 1st. Yep, welcome to February. For years, African Americans have overwhelmingly supported Democratic candidates for president. Is there a Republican candidate this year that could cut into that support? Here to weigh in is the editor and publisher of the conservative Black Chick blog and the author of the new book called Con Job, How Democrats Democrats gave us crime, sanctuary cities, abortion, profiteering, and racial division. Crystal Wright. Crystal, good morning to you. Good morning. I understand you're not confident that the Republicans uh, would uh, win a majority of the black vote, but there is one Republican <laughs> candidate who you think the uh, African Americans can identify with. It's Donald Trump. You know, as ma that? many people probably don't like me saying that because Donald Trump actually is the only person bothering to talk to black people and ask for their vote. He has a black spokesperson. You've seen her, Katrina Pearson. In his immigration plan, he talks about how deporting illegals is going to help black unemployment and create black jobs, not pander to black lives matter. So he's the only one really talking to black voters, in my opinion, of the Republican side. Well, and, and earlier last year, he tried to court about 100 African-American evangelical uh, pastors, and it didn't end exactly the way that he wanted to. However, he has been quite outspoken about the Oscars and the lack of diversity. So I guess he has that going for him. On the other side of the aisle, let's talk Democrats. And you have a theory that they are essentially buying the African-American vote. What do you mean? You know, I think it's so sad when it comes to the black vote. Blacks have shown a slavish support for the Democrat Party for over 50 years. And part of me wonders if the Republican Party should even bother asking for the black vote because black Americans seem to like being political dummies. There's, you know, we're the only race that has voted lock, stock and barrel for the same party for over 50 years. So, you know, it's really on lockdown. And you know what? People, Hillary Clinton is already owning the black vote. You know, and, and I think she's owning it because, oh, she was married to the first black president. I mean, that's all Democrats have to do. It's a sad state of affairs for blacks when all they have to do is pander and insult to black Americans decade in and decade out. And we keep coming back for more misery. It's like we've given up on ourselves economically by voting for Democrats. Crystal, I understand you told one of our producers when uh, we were talking about this segment uh, yesterday, blacks don't care about policies. Well, if they don't care about policies... What, what does that mean? Black Americans only care about policies mildly if a black conservative runs. And that's the kiss of death. If a black conservative runs, a black candidate like Carson, mm -hmm. Herman Cain, you can just kiss the black vote goodbye, in my opinion, because automatically blacks are going to call you an Uncle Tom. They're going to dismiss you outright. They might scrutinize your policies a little bit. But isn't it funny, Steve, that when a black liberal runs like Barack Obama, they just say, OK, we'll vote for you. We'll be dumb. We'll be stupid. We're just going to keep voting for you, even though our lives are worse. Just under because the first black there's president. a D after their name. Right. right? And uh -huh. the race. It's the race card, Steve. I can be a black liberal and black voters won't even question my policies. Isn't that pathetic? I mean, can't we do better? Well, if you want to hear more of what Crystal has to say on this issue, check out her book. It's The Con Job, How Democrats Gave Us Crime, Sanctuary Cities, Abortion, Profiteering and Racial Division. Thanks so much. Thanks. Have a great Crystal. day.